Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm going to put this article below, and I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let. I want you to let me know what you think. So, according to Trumpet.com, this was in 2014. They're saying that verses in the Bible say that a leader of Russia, which is a leader of the East, he will create a massive eastern army and they call him this dark serpent this dark leader this leader who he will rise up to power and get, have an army of 200 million which is more than there were on earth at that time an army of 200 million people or more and just his army will invade now they you think about it they tried this stuff in 2014 when he took over Crimea and then he tried to take over other parts of Ukraine it didn't work and then John Kerry went over to the Middle East and said, this has to be done now. We've got to make the Iranian nuclear deal, and we've got to do this, that, and the other. And and Netanyahu said all he does is talk about the messianic agenda, the coming of the Messiah, and forcing it to happen. During the whole blood moon tetrad that we had at that time. Well, now once again we have it happening again. They're starting it all over. And they say that it talks about in the Bible some sort of a, a German leader, I guess, trying to take over, and according to the Trumpet.com, they say that that Russian leader that gains a massive army of 200 million people and takes over modern-day, um, teams up with modern-day Iran, Persia, and takes over, he is a leader of Rush or Russia, and he takes over an Asian territory as well, teams up those armies, and apparently they go to war, but then God intervenes and stops what's going to happen because to save Israel for all they've done to them but at the time apparently someone a European nation European leader a German leader I think of Klaus Schwab when I think of that because of his agenda and their agenda and then you got Pelosi up there saying these things have to happen again and she's like it's happening all according to plan and Biden is exactly where he needs to be right now uh, according to plan yada yada but yeah you look at these things and it's like they look at the prophecy and they're making it happen. I mean, that's not natural when they're just going by and by it and making it happen. But maybe it is happening as as it's, as it's supposed to or going to now. I don't know. But it's just when they keep saying those evil people keep saying it's all happening how it should. It, that just that doesn't make sense to me. It's like well then y'all are planning it out then, right? But anyway. Yeah, if you read this article, even though I think it was from years ago, it pretty much describes what's going on now. And they say that he'll he'll make a massive army, and uh, but but to take over a European leader that's trying to control this world and Israel included, so uh, take over Israel as well. But supposedly it's going to wipe out a lot of Europe, just probably nuclear means. But it's it's crazy. But I mean it's. That's what seems to be happening, but it seems that they are going through the motions of just making it happen. That's my problem with it. So, is he the dark leader of Rush? Is he or Musk or Moscow? Moscow that's mentioned in certain ways. Is this is this what's going on right now? And they. I mean, they say a few things I don't necessarily agree with, but I'd like to get into part of it. In another video, if you read Ezekiel and other verses, you'll see. So, that's an immense war that takes place between European and Asian forces that will end in the return of Jesus Christ. Even after the earth, most of the earth's population apparently is afflicted by nuclear war and complete destruction. The survivors will still be unwilling to return to God. They said Revelation 11, 15 through 18 shows that Christ descends to earth. The nations will be wrathful towards him. Uh, I guess that's what they're saying here. That's what that's what they're saying will happen. What is left of the European and Asian armies will actually join forces to fight against Christ after he returns. That's what we're told. That's what they say. That's what the trumpet.com says. And he will defeat those powers. And that begins the conclusion of uh, the peaceful and prosperous new age for the entire earth. 